Hello and welcome to Plus Alpha Studio. And today we're gonna make the camera lamp stand with Kodak Retina Reflex 4 and this light bulb. So let's get it started. Making the camera lamp stand is quite simple to make. Using this kind of broken camera and this kind of light bulb and sticking to it together. So what we need to make this camera to be a lamp is this. You need some basic tools such as rulers, knives, glues, pliers, insulated tape, masking tape, screwdrivers, and wood glue. And I'm going to use this old tripod to use as a stand. And plus, this light bulb is dimmable light bulb, so it uses special electronics such as like this dimmable switch code and I'm gonna use some wood to decorate this camera and plus I'm gonna use this Dremel tool to cut inside of this camera. As you can see, the camera outside looks quite okay but the inside is broken. I got this camera from the repairing shop guy and the guy told me that this camera is already broken as you can see like this. And he already took the part off to make another camera repairing. So this camera is already broken. I'm not breaking a camera that are working, but using already broken camera to recycle to the camera lamp. The concept of the camera lamp stand is quite simple. Using the light bulb instead of the lens and putting it into the camera and using the tripod as a stand. And to put this light bulb into the camera, you have to put the socket inside. The socket that I'm using this time is this. And as you can see, the socket is quite big. So I need to take some part off of the inside to put the socket. And this light bulb is the dimmable light bulb, which means you can control the light with this controller, like this. This is the brightest and it dims like this. And I thought, why not this lamp is already dimmable and I didn't really like this part and I want to put this controller into the camera. So I'm gonna take this part off and then I'm gonna put this controlling part on here. Like the camera control the light to take a photo but I'm taking this controller instead to put here to control the light bulb. So I'm gonna open this camera up and then take some part off that are not usable and try to make this camera as light as possible. It took quite a while to take the cameras apart and especially these part are the part that I'm not going to use it which is like prism or the mirror and those kind of stuff. So I'm not going to use this part and I'm only using this part which is the outer part and I'm going to start putting the electronic inside and trying to cut some of the part that's blocking the electronic to go in there. So I'm starting from taking this switch apart. And I'm gonna take this thing off and then only gonna use the inside part and gonna attach it on here like that.
So I'm gonna put this pot inside here like this and then grind some pot from here so that I can put the light bulb like this. tool that we're gonna use to grind this part is the Dremel tool which is this so it has the sanding part here so it goes like this so it grinds inside Now everything is grinded so that I can put the socket inside. And I start with this Dremel tool to start grinding it, but it was really hard to grind everything. So I used the file instead and I hand grind everything inside. So next step is to put the socket in like this. And when putting socket, this is all metal and also the socket inside is the metal. So I'm gonna put insulated tape like this so that the camera doesn't run the electricity. Now we're going to install the electronic parts here. Before the last step, which is the assembling all the bodies and putting the light, I'm gonna clean here first. Now I'm gonna assemble everything together. So this is the final result of the camera lamp. It turned out to be quite interesting and quite satisfactory. It's very very useful and you can change the light like this. I really like the vintage look and also you can use this kind of tripod to match the vintage look with the camera. Or you can just use it like this. And this is the front and this is the top and this is the back and this is the bottom I aimed it to remain most of the design element of this original camera which means I left this kind of stuff the film winder still works although the shutter doesn't work and I changed the lens part with the light bulb and I put this electric code on the existing hole rather than draining another hole but however I had to put this controlling knob on the center top instead of putting here because the cavity of here is too small so I cannot put this electric parts on here except that everything turned out very very satisfactory and also I was trying to use this kind of wood to decorate it but I decided to use this kind of metal part instead because the metal parts fits in and looks better on this kind of metal body 
and I recommend you guys building your own camera lamp. It's, the concept is quite simple and it's not that hard to make. But however, I recommend you guys using these kind of interchangeable lens camera. This is also broken one. But why using this kind of interchangeable lens part is that the opening, front opening to put the socket in is bigger than this kind of camera. So you don't have to drill or grind that much than this kind of camera. It took quite a while and it was very hard to grind everything inside and time, it was very time consuming and it was exhausting. So I, I recommend using bigger opening parts if you are using this kind of big light bulb. And also you have to be careful of the electric shock. Most of the camera, as you can see, is made of metal. So which means you don't make it insulated inside, then you get electric shocked. I didn't make it fully insulated at the beginning. So when I was testing it, um, this camera run electricity and I got electric shocked on my right hand and it was not pleasing experience. Now everything is fully insulated so there is no worry for getting electric shocked. But when you're using it and when you're making it, be aware of making everything insulated and not getting electric shocked. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe and I'll come back with another interesting video. And that's all for today, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.